Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about eight awesome tips for beginner skateboarders to skate better. So that's right, the topic of this specific video, tutorial, explanational video, instructional video, whatever you want to call it, the topic of this video is specifically eight tips for beginner skateboarders to skate better. These are eight simple tips. If you're a starter on a skateboard, these are for you because you will be getting better in absolutely no time if you make use of these tips. Let's get into this. I'm gonna try to keep it short and sweet because I could easily turn this into like a 10 minute video if I really went thoroughly into everything, but I don't want it to be that long. So let's get into this. Number one is to get a beginner skateboard, but get a good beginner skateboard. I'll tell you why. Your first skateboard, you're probably going to really ruin and damage it's gonna fall you're gonna you know it's gonna fly away it's gonna slide away it, you're just gonna damage it so don't go spend a ton of money on an advanced level skateboard you don't need it you're not gonna make use of all of the great stuff with that expensive skateboard so just get a beginner skateboard okay there are so many options but honestly, this, this skateboard right here I'm in Canada so in Canadian dollars I think this was less than 50 bucks so you can go get a great beginner skateboard learn how to skate with it and you won't feel so bad when it gets scratched up and damaged because it didn't cost you that much and because it's meant for beginners it's gonna be a little bit easier for you to learn on okay that brings us to number two wear protective gear now number obviously the this number two number one about number two so the first aspect of number two which is to wear protective gear the first aspect is that it's gonna keep you safe if you wear a helmet some elbow pads some knee pads it's gonna keep you safe it'll keep you it'll prevent you from you know getting as hurt as you would if you were wearing the safety gear but the second aspect of number two which is to wear safety gear the second aspect is that it's gonna allow you a little bit more freedom if you're wearing safety gear you can afford to be a little bit more rambunctious on the skateboard a little bit less scared because you're protected so wear safety Gear. My parents always forced me to wear at least a helmet when I was skateboarding. Even if I wasn't doing any tricks, I always had to wear a helmet. Very simple. I started off by having to wear knee pads and elbow pads and a helmet and you know wrist guards and all sorts of stuff. But then eventually it was just a helmet. But always I had to wear a helmet. I had no choice. Um, actually, when I was a kid, I actually took my helmet off because I was like really sweaty. And I remember I was skateboarding at the school down the street from my parents' house, and my dad drove by and he gave me a look. From the car, from the car, boom, the helmet went on right away. Helmet went back on right away. And in all fairness, I told him after, and I was telling the truth, I just took it off because I was super sweaty and I was just riding around on, on a flat surface. But wear your protective gear, super important, okay? That brings us to number three. I'm gonna start taking too long with these, I gotta speed it up. Number three, get some quality skate shoes. Now you don't need skateboarding shoes to skateboard, but they're definitely better for getting better at skating. So get some quality skate shoes. Like I said, your skate shoes, whether you're a beginner or whether you're advanced, you're gonna ruin them. It is what it is. If you're doing tricks, the grip tape is gonna eat away at them. It is what it is. So don't spend a ton of money on your skate shoes, but get ones that make you comfortable. Very, very simple. Number four, we're going to number four. Start small and work your way up slowly. So once again, number four is to start small and work your way up slowly. So you want to start small with your tricks, with your learning, and then work your way up. You can't jump from this level to this level. You can go from this level to this level to this level to this level, and you can do that at whatever pace you want, but you can't skip levels. So start slow, start small. Once again, number four, start small and work your way up slowly. Now that we got that out of the way, move on to number five, which is to learn to fall properly. Properly um, and safely. That's a key factor there. My parents actually ta taught me to how to do this when I was riding a bike, okay? What I recommend with your skateboard is you want to ride up to a patch of grass, okay? So ride up to a patch of grass and hit that patch of grass and fall on that patch of grass at a very slow and gentle speed. But when you fall, you're going to learn how to fall properly. Very simple. You want to get comfortable with falling because you will fall on a skateboard, okay? I am 36 years old at the time of filming this. I just got this skateboard and I skateboarded for like the better part of four or five years in my younger days. And that, that, you know, that was when I was like 16, 17, 18, around there. So like I haven't skateboarded in a long time. But when I got on this, I was pretty comfortable right away you know my muscle memory kicked in but I fell within 15 minutes I fell multiple times so you're, you're gonna fall accept it learn to fall safely and properly that's number five number six is to practice tricks stationary first then practice them moving I didn't know how to do many tricks okay I could do like a shove it I could do a kick flip sometimes occasionally I could do a pretty decent ollie I could do a couple of different mini grinds for short distances I could manual like a nose manual but all of those things are best learned stationary first then practice them moving 
That is number six. Practice number six. Practice tricks stationary at first and then learn how to do them moving. That brings us to number seven, okay? Number seven is watch people that are better than you. I used to love watching like the X Games and all of these pro skaters. And then I even liked watching my friends that were better than me. Between me and you, however many people watch this, <laughs> could be 20, it could be 20 million, I never know with my videos. Some of them strike, just strike gold and some of them flop, right? Anyways. Um, basically, I was like basically the worst out of all my friends, but all my friends were really, really good. I was decent. They were all really, really good. So I would watch them and I would learn from them. So watch people that are better at skateboarding than you in person, on videos, you know, in tutorials, whatever the case is, watch them and observe them and learn from what they are doing. That's number seven. And last but not least is number eight which is to track your progress. So you wanna track what you've done, uh, how well you've done. You can do that by video recording yourself. You can do that by checklists. And I'll tell you what I did. When I was younger, I built a mini like ramp and grinding little setup in my parents' basement. It wasn't a serious, like, the ramp was like, you know, three inches off the ground. Just a little, little three inch like lip essentially. Um, and then a little miniature rail. And literally on the ramp, I said this in another video, but on the ramp I got permanent marker and I wrote down all of the tricks that I wanted to learn how to do. And when I landed that trick once, I put a check mark. And then when I landed that trick consistently, and I could do it like, you know, six to seven out of ten times, I crossed it off. Because then I was like, okay, I don't need to practice that directly anymore. I can just incorporate it into my skateboarding practice. So anyways, track your progress. You will feel much better when you see how far you've come. Because when you look at it, you're like, ah, I'm only this good. But when you realize that you started at nothing and you're that good, you'll feel much better. That's it. Those are eight tips for beginner skateboarders to skate better. If you like this video tutorial, instructional skateboarding video, whatever you want to call it, this rant, whatever kind of video this is, if you liked it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Oh, sorry, before I, before I finish, I would like to show you my, uh, my uh, young Picasso's artwork on the wall over here. Um, my kids, I let them paint, you know, well, a long time ago, when we first got the house, so about three, three and a half years ago, I let them paint and we hung these up in the basement. There's like seven or eight little, um, you know, paintings and they've been hanging here for like three and a half years, these little paintings. So I know you're probably wondering in the background, like, Mike, how did you paint that, right? It's my, it was my kids, my two oldest kids, Luke and Olivia. They were, at the time of that, Luke would have been about three and Olivia would have been like maybe one-ish. Um, yeah, so one and a bit. Luke would have been yeah, about three and a half. Olivia would have been about one and a half, give or take, something like that. Anyways, just so you know what's behind me, but if you like this video, whatever kind of video you want to call it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up because I know you want to smash that like button. Um, yeah, so anyways, we're going we're gonna to roll that outro again, okay? I keep, I keep, I keep dragging it on. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and smash the like button. Uh, let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. Woo! And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.